Hi, welcome back to Skill Builders. My name is Chad from the Baker Outdoor Learning Center. Today, we're gonna delve into some primitive fire starting techniques. First thing we need to do, take one hand out like this, take another hand out like this, put them together, hold them, push, and roll back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and then touch your cheeks. You have just gotten into the science of bow drills. It uses friction to create enough heat. That's one part of fire. Second part, it needs oxygen. We got oxygen, we got a lot of air. Third part is some kind of fuel. We're gonna delve into those. First, the bow drill. Down here, the four pieces to the bow drill. First, we need a bow. It looks a lot like an archery bow, just a stick and a string. Second, we need a drill. Short piece of wood, kind of semi-pointed on either side. We need a base plate of some sort and then a handle. Four parts to the bow drill. We're gonna learn how to find them, make them, and then hopefully create at least some smoke and get the bow drill going. So to make a bow drill, I went to the back, the woods, my yard, wherever I can find some sticks. I have lots of different opportunities here. First, one of these two sticks might make a good bow. These might make a good handle, good base plate, maybe. We'll do a little work some strings to tie to my bow drill. And then these, if I cut them down with some adult supervision, maybe a saw, maybe a knife, hopefully I can get a decent bow drill out of something here. I've taken all of that scrap that I found in the woods and I've kind of whittled it down. Make sure as you use a pocket knife, you have adult supervision. Kind of whittle down some spindles. Use the saw. So now I got two sets of spindles two possible handles, two possible base plates, and my bows. It's looking very much like my bow kit right here that I've already made with some manufactured lumber. The next step is the bow. You can see right up here and down here where I have this blue rope tied, there's a notch. That's where I'm gonna tie my rope. I wanna tie it just right. So the first couple of times, it's gonna be trial and error and practice to make sure that it's tight enough and my bow drill can work. We've gotten the, the, the string tightened, tied around the bow. Now, this is the tricky part. It's not hard, it's just tricky. I'm gonna put my spindle right there and I'm gonna give it a half a twist and then it's gonna pull snug. Next stop, I have to have a partner. I can do this individually, partners work better. So I have my partner right here, hold his hand on the handles and then we're gonna put the spindle down. I just kind of started a little hole here Put it down there. We're gonna start slow. Put my foot right on the base plate. On the handle, I started a little divot or a little notch right there. I'm gonna put that on top. Now, as my partner starts to take the bow drill side to side and spin that spindle, we'll see how well we did. Okay. Expect that this is gonna go flying all over the place. That's okay, that's practicing. Let's try it one more time. So the art of bow drilling means that something's not gonna work. Our spindle is cracking. That one doesn't work. Try the other one. Maybe our base plate isn't working very well. Maybe I need to notch that out. So I'm just gonna carefully take this little notch, this little knife, very carefully, just a little bit at a time, make that hole a little bit deeper. Gotta modify it. Close that knife up again, and we'll get back to bow drilling. So we found a combination that kind of works. We got our square edges kind of rounded off. This is tough stuff. We are working hard. You'll get a little bit of noise on here. You can see we just are creating a little bit of ember down there, a little bit of coals as we're taking it. Okay, and then Hunter, we're gonna stop and put your finger down in that hole and tell us what you observe. It's really hot. Make sure you switch around so next time I would be on the bow moving that bow around. We wanna step it up a notch. Bam! We wanna talk about how do we get from smoke and heat to actual fire. Let's try it. So next stop, we wanna go from smoke to fire. This is the challenging part. We may not get a fire today. What does that look like? In this little hole, this little notch here, 
this is where the smoke is, that's where the heat is. I wanna put something that's dry, something that's easy to start fire. I have some dried pine needles, maybe some dried leaves, some dried grasses, little bit of birch bark we found on the ground, some other kind of bark. We want some dried stuff because eventually our hope is to get it going in this fire pit back here, maybe have some s'mores. There we go, we got the bow drill going. You can see that smoke pouring out. This is where you're gonna take your dried grass, dried grasses, pine needles, put them down there. You almost need an extra hand. A lot of heat, let's see if we can get some more of that going. You can see right in here, it's kind of like a little dust. That's kind of an ash, it's actually warm in my hand. We wanna keep on going to get that bow and that drill and that spindle to make that fire. So we've been working on prehistoric fire building using a bow drill. We have a lot of different renditions. We have some fire starting materials. We've gotten to use some hand saws, some knives, adult supervision, outside enjoying. We didn't get a fire started today. We need a little bit more practice. This is Chad from the Baker Outdoor Learning Center. We'll see you next time on Skill Builder. Thanks for joining us.